Hello and welcome to uh, episode 12 of the Cinema 4D Basics Tutorials. In this thrilling episode, we're going to be covering how to bring a little bit of depth to your kind of flat plane objects and all of the kind of iterations of those that you might find. Um, basically, where I do a lot of packaging and I would maybe sometimes apply a label to a bottle or have a, a, a card, card sleeve over a... Um, over like maybe an internal thing, um, an internal kind of container or something like that. Um, you kind of want that realistic in your renders. You know, you want it to look a bit more realistic. So um, the, the way to do that is, uh, you, there, there's a variety of ways to do it, but I'm going to cover my little quick go-to one because I know it works every time and doesn't give me too much jip. There's all sorts of ways you can try doing add in depth. So um, basically what we'll do here, would you imagine if you had this plane, yeah? Um, so it just disappears when you're trying to solve it. This paper, piece, piece of paper, it's still got a little bit of depth, you know, it's got maybe 0.1 of a millimeter worth of depth, so, you know, it's, even though it's flat, and that's kind of what you want to have in, in, in Cinema 4D, because you obviously you can see it catches the light, you know, if I just hold that up to the camera, if it'll pick it up, which it isn't, because it's being, being stupid, you know, anyway. You can just kind of see that. Yeah, it's right there. You can see how the edge of the paper is catching the light, yeah? So that's what we want to do. So the way to do that is to add yourself in a, a, a cloth cloth uh, deformer, a cloth generator, sorry, cloth generator, and, and a cloth surface. Here you go, look. And then you just pop your plane in there. And that will give you a little bit of thickness if we just do that. See, it gives you the thickness. And because you haven't subdivided, it just it just does what with with it what you want. Um, you can obviously do that with other objects as well. If I was to create a cube and just kind of uh, make that editable, um, so it's it's kind of like this is a three dimensional object, but it's quite apparently made of of two dimensional surfaces joined together. And sometimes you might not want that, you know, because you want it to look realistic. And if if I kind of do that, you know, there's no light catching these edges here, um, which is a bit annoying. But if I was to drop a cube in here, uh, if I get rid of the uh, subdivisions. You can see it, it just looks a bit more realistic. It looks like something you see. So that was my really, really quick tutorial this time. Um, I'm working on the the next one I'll be working on will be a uh, one of those um, Amiga Dream kind of things, follow along. Um, you know what, I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you the concept. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you in the, in the next video because I might make some changes. But yeah, that was my, the lesson for today and um, all the best with your three. Th uh, you know what, I'm gonna leave that in. All the best of your creative journey and God bless or Allah bless, Jab bless, whatever you, way you, you go with that, all good. Take care and look after yourselves out there. Bye bye.